this is not only going to help you to heal, and it helps you to de- to discover the healer from within. Now, so you are, you will have that call from inside. This is a bigger call to become a healer. Think about this. Any place you go, you don't need to bring your medicine box or any other tools you know you need and to help others with the aches and pains. You now, so just remember to bring your fingers and bring your heart. Any place you go to, and you are able to help people. I have a friend and who went to a game uh, in a big st- in the stadium. Of course, people were very, very excited. You know, that was a football game. So uh, during the break, there, there was a person next to him having a heart attack. And so, of course, they called they call 911. Before 911 came, and he came up, he said, well, I practice Qigong, and can I help? And they said, oh, yes, anything, anything, anybody can help. So, and he closed his eyes and started moving the small universe clearing the energy channels in the front channel and the back channel and open up the channels in the heart in the brain and just everything happens within like a five minutes and that's what he so told me later on that person who was laying on the floor and slowly opened the eyes took deep breath and uh, he touched his chest he said oh my gosh and uh, the pain went away you just need to remember how to bring your hands and your heart together and with that little short finger technique and clear the energy blockage and send your love and that's what you do you can help to handle that situation at least you know so you can balance the energy um, uh, a little bit so before the ambulance comes you know so see that's the the power of qigong now you inhale you visualize the universal light coming in through the pores of your skin running through your skin through the gaps of all the cells and then collects in your lower dantian. When you exhale, you visualize all the stale energy you don't need in your body anymore, changing into smoke, shooting out from the gaps of the cells through the skin to the ends of the universe. When you practice this, when you really focus on your skin, you will feel goosebumps all over your body. When you have goosebumps, it doesn't mean that the room is so cold, right? And so you, have, you feel cold. Actually, your skin sucking in that energy, balancing your entire body just within seconds. I'm talking about seconds. I'm not talking about hours. This is what I want people to do. Every day, we have really 24 hours a day, right? So uh, if I ask you to practice 24 hours a day Qigong, you know, then you will get balance. I think you know, not many people can do that. But here, within seconds, minutes, you're able to balance your energy so quickly, activating the vitality. So now I want you to practice this technique together with me. And so I want you to sit comfortably. And I want you to put your hands on your laps. and you focus on your belly button, the navel behind, three inches behind. Now, when you inhale, you focus on your skin. You inhale the universal light coming in through your back, your chest, your arms, your legs, your head, through all the pores, running through the skin, the gaps of the cells and get it together in your lower dantian behind the belly button. Then you exhale, visualizing, just say in your mind, this, the stale energy changing into smoke, shooting out from every part of your body to the ends of the universe. Now do it again, inhale, the universal light coming in through your skin, running through your, the gaps of the cells and collects in your lower dantian. When you exhale, visualize the stale energy changing into smoke, shooting out from every part of your body to the ends of the universe. When you inhale now again, you f- when the energy coming in through your skin, you try to feel this goosebumps all 
all over your body, in your head, shoulders, arms, legs, torso. And when you exhale, goosebumps disappear. Your whole body completely open to the universe. All the energy you don't need in your body changing the smoke, shooting to the ends of the universe. Now let's do it one more time. When you inhale, visualizing the universal light coming in through your skin, running through the gaps of your cells, and collects in your navel three inches behind. When you exhale, visualize the stale energy changing to smoke, shooting out from your skin to the ends of the sky. Now you can open your eyes and want you to rub your hands together and massage your face so that you can wake yourself up from deep meditation in this uh, couple minutes. Now let's do a uh, demonstration. Everybody, I want you to stretch your arm out like this, like what I do. Uh, both hands, like holding a ball, right? Okay. Your hands are slightly open, like you're holding a ball. Not stretch open like that. Open just like a ball. Now, in Tai Chi, we do that. Qigong, we do that, right? So now you observe the feeling of your, your fingers. Do you feel the tingling sensation in your hands? If you feel that, that means you do qi. You activate the intelligence. Now, so I want you to close your hands like this and see what is the difference. You make, make your fingers together tight, like what I do. Do you still feel that tingly sensation that much? No, it's almost disappeared. Because all the energy channels, they, they arranged on the sides of the fingers. When you close your hands like this, you close that energy center, I mean point, communicating with the outside. That's why you don't de qi. You don't activate the intelligence. Then now you open your hands again. Do you feel that again right away? All right, it is so strong. So now you can put your hands down. So, the body postures and body movements can help you to activate in a deeper level the chi and direct the energy flow 